because we funder is always breaking new ground. Was that a reach? Gimmick or no gimmick, it's simply true. I mean, let's run through the history of it all because WeFunder has changed what fundraising means for the world. This is exciting. In the beginning, there was a crazy period of time where our founders just gave each other the Obama face because investing in their homies was considered illegal. And so they went to petition Congress to change those laws because what the deuce? Fast forward to April 2012, Congress legalizes regulation crowdfunding in the Jobs Act, and the founders fly to D.C. to watch President Obama sign it into law. Full circle Obama reference, industry starters, kiss the ring, breaking new ground. Then in January 2013, they get in the Y Combinator, which is the Harvard of startup accelerators. Very prestigious. That's where you go and you're like, hey, I have a business. And Paul Graham's like, prove it. So thankfully our founders proved it because geez, tough crowd. Then in March 2016, the company takes the first train trip across America because the vision was always to fund real America, not just Silicon Valley. So 12 cities in two weeks, coast to coast. And then in May, the laws finally pass. Wait, what? Four years later? Okay, so like 2012 was pre-break. So I reckon their shoulders were into it, maybe a little bit of the hips, and then they held that for four years while keeping the lights on. But now we're digging, baby, dirt flying everywhere. Then in 2019, they went to work to fix the law by meeting with the SEC and Congress to improve it for both founders and investors, because come on, guys, a million dollar max? We can do better than that. Can't stop, won't stop, we fund the records though, because in October 2019, they hit 100 million investment value breaking new ground for real this time. Then in December 2020, they hit 200 million investment value. And not only did they fund the most dollars, it was almost more than the competitors combined, breaking everybody's ground. <laughs> oh my God, I'm not good at evil. Are they done yet though? Nope. Because in March 2021, the SEC rolled out reforms to the law that made WeFunder a far better tool for founders to raise money from their customers and fans. 5 million max raise, SPVs, Happy Nick. So more ground broken, muchachos. Like we have a deep hole at this point. Everybody jump in and let's bask in the milestones. We've signed up 1 million plus new angels. 78% of investments are under $500, so a super lower risk and equal opportunity for all. They've helped 1,891 founders take their shot from all backgrounds. $459 million have been invested across America. The founders created 26,742 jobs in communities across America. And in total, companies have gone on to raise over $5 billion from venture capital after WeFunder. All real good stuff. I told you, you have to start believing me. But now we've reached the next stage of our world-class groundbreaking mission. The future of fundraising. Wait for it. The community round. This is what we're here for today, christening the super yacht. But before we get into it, let's take a moment to hear from some of our rock star supporters with rock music. We didn't need the money. The round was oversubscribed and we'd already raised 120 million. Main factors for me were we really want to help users succeed as entrepreneurs. Genuinely, if we win, they win. We all win together. They're really betting on a dream. Even allowing people the option to do that, I think is incredible. Had we not done the community round, we just did this one-off spray and pray founder talking to hundreds of VCs and wasting my own time instead of focusing on my product. That is not nearly as scalable as doing something like a community round. Really exciting, very overwhelming, and very mission affirming. We were just communally having our minds blown. You just can't underestimate how powerful being an owner is access to them on your cap table and they're aligned and incentivized for your success. Doing this is prestigious. You actually can raise money from your customers. You probably built a very good product because most people that are not going to invest in this they don't care about. Hello. 
See, I told you this was exciting. WeFund is breaking even more ground by officially becoming the home of the community round. And if you go to communityround.com, you can see some of the biggest companies in the world that have raised slash are about to. And I promise you, you're either be inspired to start a raise and rise to the top because of your community, invest in one, or petition the startups you love the most to start their own community round. See, although we wanted to take a moment to look back on all the hard work we all put in to make this opportunity possible and get us to this point, the next stage in the mission is really about you because the power is in your hands now even more. So raise, invest, and partition your big hearts away, and we look forward to seeing the new ground that you break. Gotta get your own shovel, though. We funder, baby. Home of the community round.